This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Andrew G, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Public Affair. I'm super excited for this one. I really, really am. I'm a nerd, you know, with my radio career, and I love having radio veterans on the show, so I'm super, super excited to jump into this one. Now, before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to thank Rogue Media Network. Mike Hamilton is producing this episode. Thank you so much for all you do for me on the show. I truly appreciate it. And of course, to everybody that continues to support the podcast, going on four, I'm about to be four years old in this bitch. Man, yeah, give me sure. my flowers. I want my damn flowers. Hold on, man. Hard. That's a round of this applause for that, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have scoliosis with all the weight I have to carry, okay? Listen, Man. but no, thank you to all There's of no. you who, who show me continuous love and support. I truly appreciate it. Now, before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to us by David Santabanez with Alinea Real Estate. He is the number one sales agent in his office. He's going to help you buy a home or sell your property. Even if you don't know what you're doing, he's going to help you get to every step, step by step in the correct manner. David Santabanez is absolutely the GOAT and will put you in the home that's best suited for you and your family. And si habla espanol, so make sure you guys work with the best at Alinea Real Estate. David Santabanez, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Anika Armstrong with Armstrong's Bayou Cafe. I love Armstrong's Bayou Cafe. Oh, it's delicious. Serving the most authentic Cajun cuisine with a wide selection of signature crab cakes, pasta, seafood, and more. Listen, my favorite is absolutely any pasta that you can get there, okay? And I'm a seafood hoe, okay. and she has the best seafood in the world. Okay. I love it, love it, love it. She's at Union Hall on Franklin and at Union Grove in Woodway. Follow at Armstrong's Bayou Cafe Corporation on Facebook. Thank you so much, Anika, for sponsoring this episode of The yeah, Public Affair. Appreciate. Of course, the Blue Star RV service is with Manny Guerrero, a mobile RV tech who can fix all RVs. I'm talking about travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and so much more. Listen, yo, don't be camping and you're trying to wonder where you're going to bring your camper. The food truck breaks down, the AC is not working, all right? Call Blue Star RV Services. Save the number on the phone. He's going to come to you with his team. They're all Ooh. professional. They're all absolutely reliable. Blue Star RV Services, thank you so much for all you do for me in the public affair. I truly appreciate it. Of course, to CBD Plus USA with my boy Tyler Hyde. Listen. Located at 2444 West Loop 320 in the Central Texas Marketplace in Waco. Let's enjoy high quality products with a wide range of top of the line CBD, THCA, Delta 8, Delta 9, and so much more. And if you're unsure about the natural benefits that they can provide for your body, hit them up. I, I think it's absolutely amazing to get your body right back intact, and it's a natural way to do so as well. And on your first trip, make sure you guys mention that the Public Affairs sent you for $5 off, right? CBD Plus USA, Tyler Hyde, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair, and of course, the Soko Soccer Academy with Dominic Gutierrez and Ariana Gutierrez. That's right. They're offering team, small group, and individual skills training with elite skills training to make your kids superb star athletes and one of the best child care centers in Central Texas. That's right. I'm standing on business on that one. That's right. Listen, and, uh, you could train with professionals like George DeLeon and make your kids, like, you know, breaking them ankles on the, in, the, in the field. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, that's right. All right. So make sure you guys hit them up and also for occasional Ooh. open play on Mondays and Wednesdays for ages 16 and older. And a public affair continues to be a very proud sponsor of the Soko Soccer Teams. Coach Ooh. by Coach Maro Maldonado. Keep doing your thing, bro. Keep doing your thing with the kids. Shaloo. Yes, they're over there winning champions. I can't keep up. Every three months is a, is a league. Okay. I, okay. Yeah. They're, they're, he's taking them everywhere. He's showing those kids bro. out, and he's doing a damn good job big at it. So, love yes, love big love shout it. out to you at the Soko Soccer Academy. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Okay. So, as you guys can see, listen, he's a radio veteran. He's been in the radio longer than any of us have been alive. Now I'm showing his age. Stop <laughs> it. But, you know, even when I did my ads, it's just natural for him to just jump in. Okay. Because that's what we do. Yeah, it's like bad. recording commercials. I'm so excited. He's a veteran DJ, he's a veteran radio person. Personality now at 107.3 The Beat, uh, formerly of 95.5. 94.5. 94.5. Yeah. I said 95. 94.5. Listen, well, and, oh, and the host of his new podcast, Taxi yeah. Tapping. Yeah, That's right. Track, man, baby, yes, good. you guys, welcome. My very, very special guest, Mr. DJ Precise, is in the building. Shlute, How you doing? Shlute, shlute, doing fine. Yes, thank you for coming. Thank you for making the time for me. Hey, big up to you. Let me give you, me give you your props, to <laughs> your flowers. You know what I'm saying? You're doing a hell of a job. Thank, and that, that means a lot. You got a big support team that, that, that rock with you. You know, the city, yeah. the city love you, what you do, and what you bring to the yeah. table so salute to it's, you you know thank you no, it, and it means a lot to hear that because listen I, I i mean like i've said on the show i've been on the radio uh i was on the radio for eight yeah. years and i heard your name flow everywhere Appreciate and you know we, we finally got to meet yeah. you know at a pop-up market event yeah. you yeah. know shortly after mm -hmm. my career mm -hmm. and and you were you were just so kind and you know obviously with your name floating around as long as it did it's just so it's it warms my heart to hear you say that so it, it means a lot no, to hey, me more you know you, you know think, so. you know radio is a small fraternity of people you know yeah. people, a lot of people don't know that you know that because you were in radio <laughs> Was. So a lot of people don't know. Well, we know you, you still were in there. Yeah, and, sure. And the thing is, it's a small fraternity of people that have to embrace each other and know that we have to work together yeah. at some time, you know, so it's yeah, good. Yeah, no, for sure. Well, I didn't meet a lot of nice people in radio. Yeah, sometimes you don't. Sometimes, sometimes you, you don't. don't you I know. think in my I've case. been blessed, man. I've been blessed yeah, to be able good. to, you know, be around a, a big support team that really believe in me and, yeah. you know, Go DJ Batman. 
really was the person that opened the door for me to be oh, a really? part of radio. You oh, know what good saying? deal. Okay. Yeah, he, yeah. he the one introduced me to Graham, who was actually the owner of the radio station at the time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He was your boss. Yeah. Do you guys? Yeah. You know, he's not your boss anymore. No, nah, not no more. Yeah. So do you guys still keep in touch? Yeah, yeah, we still do business. Yeah, yeah. I just did a party with him this past uh, weekend. I know sure. we're going to air, but we just did a party in Dallas. You Why did you leave 94.5? Well, the uh, thing was, they ended up going straight R&B and mm-hmm. old school, and uh, we ended up making a you know, better deal over here. Okay. Are you not R&B old school? I'm with that. I'm cool yeah. with that. But, you know, ownership and everything, they had issues going on behind oh, the scenes. They were kind of working on kind of really getting together what they wanted to do. Radio's so, just changed. Per yeah, yeah, yeah. Has. Radio has changed. That's why I left. You know what I mean? And we're going to yeah. get more into that in a minute. Yeah. But, you know, it, it just it's not the same when we were growing up. True, true. It's not the same. And, mm-hmm. you know, that's why, you know, it, it's just less about the personality. Yeah. It really is. You're like, right. You're right. A lot, a lot of stations don't want you to be no. who you are, you know. They couldn't stand Andrew G. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at you now, though. <laughs> look look at you now, though. No, you know, and, and while we're good. doing that, though, because I, she'll probably end up watching this, I do, I always have to give my props to Chrissy yeah. at 1079, um, Power 108. She, she was she at 97.5. She, she took me under her wing. Mm-hmm. If I met anybody in radio that took me under their wing and showed me even how to conduct business how I do now, it was Chrissy. That's what's 100%. Salute, Chrissy. Everybody else Salute. was a jackass. Okay. <laughs> but no, yeah, anyway, listen. Okay. So, listen. Oh, and didn't you just open for CeeLo Green? Yeah. 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 How, yeah, yeah, shout out to back y'all for that, man. Yes. Shout out to shout out to Chris Cox and uh yeah. shout out to my boy Eric, man. They were two of the owners that that, that uh helped me be a part of that, man. So salute Did you to get them, to meet back him? Y'all. No, I didn't. No, I actually you didn't. Okay. I actually had another uh gig after that. Oh, so you were booked and busy. Yeah, I, I left yeah. I was in Houston earlier that day for a wedding. Drove back from Houston, did the CeeLo Green show, yeah. and then had another party that night at the sure, uh, Lounge sure. Party 18, so it was a busy day. I had the opportunity to meet Twista okay. when, when yeah, our yeah. friend prescription. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did not meet Twista because mm. I was really drunk. Oh, yeah, you hosted and, uh, that show. I was I, there. I hosted it for like five seconds. I was there, yeah. <laughs> oh, you, <laughs> you were there? Yeah, I was there. <laughs> I, know, I know, you know, prescription because not when I talk. Salute so Scrib. I love Scrib. I'm really happy that he invited me to the Good Times, Good Vibes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Just, I wish I would have met, but I, in, my, in everybody else's defense, I was really trashed. I was Hey, tank. Hey, I man. made out with somebody in the parking to the best lot. Sometime, yeah, man. it was it was a hot mess. Express. I gotta get out of here before I get in trouble and shut the, the shit down. There. <laughs> hey, listen, what well, pre- pre- prescription? Precise. You know, um, for anybody watching this and living under, I know who you are because I've been in the business for a while. Yeah. Okay. And and so um, I like to say I'm reaching veteran status, like you are. You know what I mean? I, think, yeah. I feel like I'm climb, I'm clawing my way up there. And yeah. so for anybody Absolutely. watching this and they're living under a rock, can you just tell us a little bit about you and growing up, please? Man, me, uh, you know, really, I just love music from the beginning. My mom had a beauty shop at the house back in the day. You oh, know? okay. So one part house, one part beauty shop. So oh, as wow. a kid, I was always around, you know, a lot of the ladies in there with her and, of course, guys, too. Sure, sure. And, uh, you Were you know, playing with the wigs? Were you playing with well, the wigs? No, nah, I was playing no. turntables. Oh, you <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we had one of those big consoles with the with the record player on it, with yes. the music and all that, the little brown boys. I don't know some of y'all probably know what I'm talking about. Google it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we had one of those, and then, like, you know, my mom be like, boy, Go in there and put that Frankie Beverly and Maze on or something right uh-huh, quick. Uh-huh. And I go in there and put it on, and I see the reaction of the people. Sure. And I was like, okay, so okay. So you were enticed by that. Yeah, that yeah, exactly. Exactly. That, that started okay. making me more interested in music. You yeah, know? yeah, for sure. And then, of course, you know, the crowd. You know, making sure Absolutely. to satisfy the crowd with good music. You yeah, know? most so definitely. So I was, I was grew up on good music. Absolutely. Now, you're from here, though. I'm from Hillsboro. Oh, you're from Hillsboro? Yeah, Hillsboro. But oh. I've been in Waco all my life. All throughout the summers I spent in Waco. Yeah, yeah. Back in Parkside Village was over there. I spent that with I my, know where Parkside my cousin, the baby. Shout to the baby. Ladies, man, the Bailey family, mm. all my cousins, man. As we say, cutties, all my cutties. We used to stay. I used to come down every summer, you know, sure, and sure. Uh, chill with them. So yeah. that's, how, that's how Waco pretty much embraced me back then. Yes, there is a rapper from Hillsborough, I believe, right now. Is it Hoover Kane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my nephew. Is that your nephew? That's my nephew. Yeah, I, I, yeah. He's I, hard. He's hard. He's very, very good. Yeah. And I was gonna invite him on the show. Okay. But I'm the young brother, and, and he's, he's raised up on our South Mob wing. Yeah. I used to do music back in the day, South Mob. So he know about oh, okay. the South Mob crew. He he grew up listening to us back in the day, and he's one of the one of the amazing. few youngsters that really, really give us our flowers like all the time. He, like, he, he loves it. I love yeah. his energy. I yeah, saw me too. Him, Salute, I nephew. saw him on reviews and previews with Prescription, yeah, and are. I texted him, and I was like, "Who is this man on your show?" I just want to like call him, and I want to talk to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Super, he's entertaining. Super. He's entertaining yeah, too, for man. Sure. He's got it. He, he got it in him. Don't you think he's got it? Yeah, me and his dad. Me and his dad. Dad was part of my uh, South Mob movement, yeah. So you know he he grew up around the music, you know what I'm yeah, saying. So sure. it, it's in him. He's got it. There's you know there's I, I talked to you know Jay Trouble's gonna come visit us in just a second, and, and I said on the show I was like you know there's there's people who are rapping. It's just I want you to not. 
I'm yeah. Sorry, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's get to that in a second. Yeah. Some people but, just had that star it power. You know what I'm saying? He he, he got that star Hoover power Kane back. Yeah, he got. He got. If you guys don't know who Hoover Kane is? Yeah. Go on Instagram, YouTube, anywhere. Hoover yeah, Google Kane. nephew, man. He's working, yes, man. He's amazing, amazing, and no gay shit, Hoover Kane. We, you could definitely come on the public affair. I promise. I won't All slide right. in your DMs. Now, okay. What, what was life for you like growing up, though? Would you say that it was pretty easy? Then? Man, I ain't gonna say it was easy. You know, sure. I lost a lot of people, man. You know, okay. I lost a lot of people, and uh, I grew up in a small town, so. Real, real quick backstory, you know, salute to my mom, man, for having me. Yes. You know what I'm saying? She was a young mother, you know. I'm talking about 15, 16 years old. Oh, when wow. She had me, so she could have easily aborted me, you know what I'm saying? So give her her flowers. Give her you know, flowers, mom, I love yes. you. Thank you so much because yes. when for you doing that, I wouldn't be here today, for you sure. know. So Was that around? My pops, my, my, my pops, and actually, uh, you know, my biological father, he wasn't around at he first around. Okay. because uh, we was in a small town and he was yeah. in another situation ship or whatever. I see, I see. Yeah. So, you know, I was like an outside child. You know the 80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, okay. yeah. And it was like, you know, salute to him, may he rest in peace. But, oh, I'm sorry yeah, he, he passed yeah. on. But the uh, okay. thing is, uh, my mom really, you know, she held it down. And as I got older, you know, about fourth, fifth grade, she finally told me who he was because my, oh. my little brother that passed, his dad actually raised me. He was my stepfather. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay, Larry Robinson. Salute Larry Robinson. Yes, he was a yes. Vietnam veteran, a great man. He raised me from a young pup all the way up. You awesome. Know? Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so that's your dad. So, yeah. yeah, that's my dad my, and my uh, biological father. He ended up passing from cancer. Oh, okay. Yeah, they both, and it's crazy, both of my dads died in their 40s. You know, my dad they raised me and my biological father. Wow, so young. Yeah, they both died 40, so I think 40, 42. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. so, you know. That that really inspires me to keep going too. I feel like I feel them, their energy, you know, sure, sure. to keep me going. You yeah, know, for them, living for them, you know, most definitely. Okay, yeah. uh, and you know, b and big ups to them and your family. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so you know, you you kept your head pretty much buried in the turntables. Yeah, yeah. So you were doing music. Yeah. Let's let's jump right into your early career. Okay, so okay. you were obviously spinning music first. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, we used to have a club in Hillsborough called the Bedrock. Shout to Sly Dog, man. His name is Sly Dog. <laughs> Reggie, baby, All the these whole shout outs. Crew. Yeah, I got to yes. shout to my people, man. You know, <laughs> I got to sure. give them. I'm the type of person, man, I like to give people their flowers because a lot of times people don't do that. Okay. These days we live in the world, people don't do that. Everybody, it's all about them. Yeah. I'm not one of those people. Yeah. It's definitely. about my people. You know what I'm saying? I love yeah. my team. I love giving people their they flowers. You know, I was I was like 15, 16 years old, bro. I wasn't even supposed to be in the club, right? Okay, yeah. And I was DJing at 16 years old at oh, the club wow. called Bad Rock. And back then, this is where I got my radio identity because back then, K104 was a big thing. Yes. Radio, Bad yes. Brad and all these different cats. They used to come down. Mm -hmm. And do live broadcast from the club, and I was able to actually mix live on the radio oh, back wow. then. Okay, gotcha. This you. was years ago. Yeah, yeah. And they came down, and I was able to be live on the radio back then. And I was like, man, I gotta do radio one day. This is yeah. big. Like it was huge back then. Yeah. Of course, years went by, and I got out of music, and we got out of DJing and doing street stuff, and you know, dumb sure. stuff, and dumb you know, stuff. but my. But my hill, you know what I'm saying? But I got past yeah. that. You know, I drove trucks for some years. Okay, okay. That was a truck driver. So, so you made some pretty stupid decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, yeah, exactly. Did you, how much, did you get in a lot of trouble at all? Or? Not really. Not really, mm -hmm. man. Not Just really. Just kind of hanging out with yeah, the wrong crowd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong Would you crowd. say that the business did that to you? I feel like in our business, there's there's just people that are not good to be around. You sometimes, I mean? sometimes, yeah. man. You know, like you say, you know, when you lose your pops and all that, man, you kind of just kind of find your way oh, in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I like I, okay. I, I, I hung out with all the older cats. I never did hang up with younger people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was always the youngest in the yeah. in the crew. You know, and it was always older cats I looked up to. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Got That's you. how I ran. Some of them wasn't the best role models. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some of them were doing sure. some crazy stuff in the streets, yeah. and I end up, you know. Doing some of those things. What, as well. what, what, so what kind of veered you back into getting your head back on in track and you know getting me man? To be honest with you, it was nine eleven. Oh wow! I, I had moved to Houston. You know what I'm saying? I moved to Houston at the time. Yeah. And nine eleven struck, man. I woke up that morning and seen this all on the news and going crazy. And I was like, man, my daughter was young at the time. I could never find a good daycare for her in Houston. Sure. And I didn't trust people with my daughter. You know what I'm saying? I was oh, like, yeah. I was like, man, we got to get back home. Yeah. We got to get back closer to Waco. My mom's at. Mm -hmm. And then when I got back, that's how I ended up running back into Batman. Okay, okay. And I used to work for him at a club called Club Jealousy back in the day when I was young, too. He had a, he right. had a club, too, back in the day. Batman yes. owned a club called Club Jealousy. It was fire. Like, I used to kill it. We used to have fun. <laughs> I used to be the one that set up everything for Batman, pack okay, in all the time. Yeah. We had record crates. Pack them in, set them up, all that stuff. And then we'd right. get it started. Me and Miss, shout to Nelson, my boy Nelson, who was with me MCing. Soon we get set up, 
Batman come here and take over. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You yeah. know, I hear you referencing Batman a lot. I never met Batman in person. Yeah, man, we got to get Batman on your show. You, you know what? I, I, and I will not forget this. When I were, I had this old job that I worked at for years and years and years, and they mm. sent us to a Juneteenth festival. Is okay, what they did, and we were we were like vendors there. Mm. And um, I remember DJ Batman was the main DJ, mm. and they, they were like showcasing rappers. That's how I met like Young Jay, who doesn't rap anymore, and stuff like that. But I never met DJ Batman. Yeah, man, good. Brother. I would like to meet. Him, yeah, yeah, though, yeah, yeah, his name was always. Around, I introduced you to him. Good yeah, guy, please, good yeah. guy, man. When, when, I him, the, when I come on the radio, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. We're doing a show. radio promo, okay? Yeah. Yes, we're we gonna get you on the show I'm for sure. Up. Yes, you know he got a nice <laughs> show now too. I get you on his show. He got a nice show called Tight at Night. He's back on at night. You can catch oh, Batman okay. every day of the week at seven o'clock to eleven p.m. Yeah, he's oh, on nighttime. Now, I used to so. hate those hours. Yeah, uh, that was when Batman got about seven jobs. You know, he's Batman. He's Batman. Yeah, he's Batman. He has to be out. Man, let me tell you, well, he he used to do he used to do the Baylor games. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, now he's, oh, he's like booked and busy. He, he can't he, come on the public. Man, he's busy, man. Yeah, he's he can do it. He can do yeah, it, but I'll have to schedule him. Yeah, yeah, okay? definitely have to schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, okay, so so then you get into the radio. Yeah. So Batman was pretty much responsible for your radio. He did, he did, man. He, he was okay. he was the sole reason I got in radio. I mean, cause yeah. I used to give him. I was driving trucks at the time, right? And I used to make mixes and give them to him. And he was like, man, I'm gonna let Graham hear him and get you on. Well, this happened about about a month or so. He kept turning me and back, and Graham wasn't really nah. He yeah. not ready yet. Ooh, he kept on. You know, Graham's, sure. Graham's, Graham's, he was tough back then, really tough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it took me a while. And finally, they got to a point Batman was doing everything. The morning show mixes, he was doing the afternoon mixes, he was doing the night mixes, he was doing everything. He, okay, could, yeah. he couldn't take it no more. He's like, man, I got to get some help. Sure. You got to bring Precise on and BJ. So he ended up bringing me on. And then okay, I started doing you. early morning mixes. So, so you were just doing mixes? Yeah, then. just record mixes. You, you weren't even like a I didn't have a drop or anything. Oh, wow. Okay. I was so happy, bro. When I get up, get in that big truck, yeah. and hear my mix come on. The, uh, it was like the Russ Paul Morning Show back then. Yes. Man, my mix would come on. I would go crazy just to hear myself crazy. on the radio in my big truck Isn't driving. It wild? I remember when I heard my first commercial. <laughs> yeah. I, it I feels remember, good, don't I it? remember when I heard my first commercial. I was like, I made it. <laughs> yeah. Now you feel like you do. You do. You do. You, you, do. you, you were like, Now, were you getting paid when you first started? No. Not yeah. at all. I, I, I worked a whole year, man, uh, yeah. without getting paid. A whole year? Oh, I, did, year. I did six months. I did a whole six year. Six months. I did a whole <laughs> year, man. You know, but, yeah. but the thing was, I was DJing so much, building my name up at the time. Sure. Uh-huh. And what I did, I used that radio station backing to build my name bigger yeah, for my yeah, own for company. Sure. So I started getting booked and busy. So I wasn't really tripping on the money at the yeah. radio station because I was making probably, man, back then, it was, I was making some real good oh, money. Yeah, like, I wouldn't, I couldn't even say what I was making, but it was good money. That was some good shit. Yeah, you know, sure. And I was like, man, well, you know, this truck paying a lot of money. Like, we got to come meet somewhere in between, you know what I'm saying? You Lord, you Lord knows there's no fucking money. In yeah, radio. yeah, radio's there's no really money. It's really not. not. People don't understand that. It's not they no money. They don't understand yeah, it. They don't understand it. They, don't, they thought we were rich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bitch, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, man. I couldn't pay not one bill with my radio. Hey, man. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I could not pay one bill. It was a nightmare. Hey, hey, it was an absolute People nightmare. People don't understand that, man. They don't understand yes. that, man. So, you know. But, you know, I think at the time, too, though, because I remember, like, when I started, and I, was in, I started as an intern as well. Yeah. A, it was just a thing to be on the radio. Like, if you can that you made yeah. it on the radio like that was it yeah, right but yeah. then you realize okay I gotta start paying the fucking bills still gotta pay the bills you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying yeah even when yeah. I went full time though I wasn't making I wasn't making a lot of money either though yeah yeah, yeah. that was like the yeah I mean thing. you yeah. know basically it's still the same you know what I'm saying like you know <laughs> I'm just being honest with you yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. radio still don't pay my bills you know what I mean sure. I really I really you know do it because it's what I love. You know, I don't do it for the money. I got you know you. what I'm saying? I yeah. do it because it's, it's something I love to do. do. Did you find it hard to find your lane in radio in the beginning? Yeah. Like kind of fitting yeah, in. Yeah, it did. Yeah, okay. I did. I did it first. You know what I'm saying? Because I, sure. I, I hung around the studios like a cat, bro. I just hung out. Oh, okay. Like, you know, I end up I end up hanging out and being able to get a show because I just hung out. I was just being in the studio when G, G, DJ Gigi was doing the uh, Street Beat show, which sure. is a local love. Yeah. And then I just started watching what he was doing and learning yeah, and yeah. behind the scenes, you know. Sure. And it come one day he was able, he was like, he couldn't do the show no more. Okay, okay. So I was next in line. You I know just, what I'm you know, and, and I wonder if you're, um, I mean, obviously there's a generational difference, you know, yeah. but you look great for your age, by the way. You look like Appreciate you're nothing it. more than 21, okay? I yes, wish. you do. Okay, yeah, 21 yeah. years old. And so I <laughs> if you guys, when you keep looking back, uh, Jay Trouble's here and he, uh, he's spectating right now. We're going to put him on the yeah, camera. Trouble, a little yeah, bit later, we love Jay Trouble. That's my brother right yeah, there. Yeah, see, man. I almost got in trouble when Jay Trouble came on the show because they thought that I was trying to turn him into a hobophobe and I was not. Oh, <laughs> so, man. Okay, I was just trying to, I, if they would have watched, the whole show i was trying to sleep with him on the show hello but anyway yeah, yeah. <laughs> no um so so i i felt like in, in my experience when i got into the radio i, I meant I, you know i referenced chrissy and she was always good with me right mm -hmm. but there were other djs that were just not very pleasant with me and mm -hmm. there was i even had
and I can't have you take my job. Straight wow, on, they said that crazy. shit to my face. You I, had that kind of stuff in this yeah, world, you know. Yeah, I didn't experience that, you know, where I was at. Thank God, but yeah, you know, you do have some bumps and bruises, though. You it do was, have. You I know, took it so hard, I was like. He just said that. <laughs> it's a, a cutthroat situation. Learn. I had yes. one time okay. we had this young intern that was young. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. She was a, she was a nice looking female that sure. was part of our team, and she kind of slipped it in there a little bit and got with the higher ups and was trying to get me off the radio. Yeah, like she actually was yeah. trying to get me off the radio. Like, and, and they were almost considering it. This right. is during the time that our owner had, you know, he had took a vacation. Okay, and uh, you know, <laughs> we all and, know uh, that vacation. <laughs> yeah. I never met Graham. You know, man. I yeah. never met Graham. Yeah. My uh, my old boss used to say that if I ever messed with Graham, he'd break my legs. Is that true? <laughs> hey, I don't know. About we don't know. Okay. I, I would love to meet Graham. I'm no, sure Graham, he's Graham, cool nice. guy. Yeah, man. I'm sure he's, he's super cool nice. Guy, yeah. man. I can say he. And I, I, I gave him flowers too, man. I, I salute him because he gave me an opportunity yes. to do what I love to do, man. You and know? your personality uh, co host, Mary Jane, was on this yeah. show many, many years ago. And okay. I, knew that, I know they had their falling out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did that, but I guess they're back. They're back cool. They're back cool. Yeah. You know, that's what happens. I haven't gotten back cool with my old radio boss. See, radio does that. Like you say, it's crazy. It's ups and downs like a roller coaster, bro. I've moved the F on i can't yeah i'm sorry like, i don't know that i don't know even now that i would get back into it for real i don't i don't know like i, I just think that the experience while the experience was amazing eight years and you know hey, I, that's, I, that's a good I run man like that's I, a good run it, it was a good damn run and and i feel like it played a part in creating andrew g to be the public yeah creator, no, right? doubt, no, no doubt no doubt no doubt like man. finding my voice and everything but i don't know that i would radio's just changed like so we let's just reference and this is by no means any disrespect um to zach with waco 100 mm -hmm. how did you not see that coming yeah yeah. Like no, I, I, yeah. and and the viewers, I, excuse me, like the listeners, like they they see a, a radio veteran in his own right. Yeah, absolutely, Th more than thirty years on the station. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they don't understand. They let us go like that. Oh, they do. They, they do. Let, they let us. That's what like you got to be prepared nothing. for, man. They you never us, know. Yeah. You but never the, know. But, and and that's why I, you know, I, I hope I can have him on the show one day. But you yeah, know, that'd I, be dope. I, that's what everybody needs to understand. So while they they are up in arms and we're gonna boycott, you know, Wake One Hundred, whatever, whatever. Y'all don't understand. That's how they treat us. That's how they treat us. We are so expendable in radio. It yeah. Was, and I, that's why I got out when I did. I was like, I can't. Yeah. I'm not sitting around waiting for this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you yeah. know, that's kind of that's kind of one of the reasons I got the Texas Tapping and started. You know, sure. same as Plug. That's my new podcast yeah, because, yeah. you know, everything's going visual now. You know what I'm saying? And then on top sure. of that, I can bring on whatever guests I want to bring on my show. That's right. I can talk about whatever the hell I want to talk about. I, isn't it freeing? You know? It's so freeing. Yeah. You know, and before yeah. we go to break, I wonder, do you think that your days are numbered in radio? I mean, I think everybody's days are numbered in radio because, like you just said, radio has changed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, I'm not just going to sit back and be sitting there looking crazy when it does. Sure. I'm going to already be moving, bro. Be moving. I'm already on the runway right now. We're That's just right. ready to take off. You know okay. what I'm saying? So. Well, listen, Precise, I want to get to know more about your radio career. Um, sure. I know you guys do freestyles on there. I want to know who you think was trash and who you think was good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I definitely, you know, I, I, I want to know more about that. Okay. Um, I want to know about your show that you got going on yeah. uh, and the future for radio, in your opinion. And um, if you feel supported by your peers. So you guys, when we get back, we're going to have more with DJ Precise here on The Public Affair. Woo! Salute. Hey guys, welcome back to my very special episode of The Public Affair, my very special guest, radio veteran and DJ veteran, DJ Precise. Now, before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to us by Bandas Hauling Service with Julian and Bandas, right? They run dump trailers. You fill it up and they haul it away. They also do junk removals and tree brush removals. They haul cars in and out of town. All that junk accumulating in the yard, they're going to pick it up for you and they're going to move it away. Listen, this number is absolutely clutch to have on your phone because it should be happening all the time, out of nowhere. The car breaks down. You need somebody to come pick it up for you. Banda's Hauling Service is absolutely reliable. Julian Anabanda, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the Ociel Penguin Benitez with Funtown RV. Listen, the best in RV sales. That's right. Penguin works overtime to make sure you and your family are situated and settled in the best RV suited for all of you guys. Toy haulers, travel trailers, fifth wheels, and so much more. Listen, it's camping season. Okay, the weather is getting warmer. You guys need a nice RV for you and your family to go camping in. Ociel is the person to do it with. Y se habla español también to my boy. Penguin, follow Penguin's cool RV deal and tips on Facebook. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the Public Affair. Of course, to my boy Fernando de la Rosa, who I have just big shout out to Fernando de la Rosa because I just I, I have a newfound love for that guy. <laughs> He's got a really great sense of humor. Big Bear Lawn Care with a small landscaping business. Listen, the lawns are a hot ass mess. I know I'm not trying to go cut no lawns. I, I am not doing it. It's hot. It's gonna be 100 degrees outside. Uh, just call Big Bear Lawn Care. He's gonna come out there and get it situated, mowing, edging, mulching, and so much more. Call them on the screen for a free quote, a free estimate. Say habla español también to my boy Fernando de la Rosa. Thank you so much for sponsoring. 
sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, to my girl, Myra Rosales with Striker Post Photography. This is a digital photo booth business, perfect for parties, private events, corporate events, and so much more. It's fun, it's convenient, it's easy. She's also offering customized invitations and evites. Also, if your kid's playing sports, if your kid's playing sports, hire her you to, to go out there and take sports photos of your kids. Absolutely amazing Ooh. and on demand. All digital strike a post photography. My girl, Myra Salas is the GOAT. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. All right, guys, we are right back into it. My very, very special guest, Mr. DJ Precise is in the building. In the building. Have, you know what? Radio... We're, we're some hoes, right? We are. And I, I know I used, yes, I did. I used, when I was on the radio, I, I used. You put me up in that category. I, because we are all the same. I don't give a shit. I'm not going <laughs> to sit here and act like I was the only one. I definitely used my radio status to get what I wanted once or twice. Uh, maybe, maybe once or twice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me some stories? Did you ever do some freaky radio shit? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he has. You're precise. You're from the 80s. I know Man, you did. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, what's, that, what's that word? I, I plead the fifth on this one. <laughs> Listen, if you wanted to go to that country music concert, how bad did you want those tickets? Yeah, damn it. I'm going to say it. I don't care. I haven't been on the radio in years. I haven't. I don't yes. do that. I ain't going to lie. I, I don't do that. I did. That. Yes, I ain't I never did. did that. I did. I sure did. <laughs> now, have I, have I shown love to some people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we get a plethora. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I've probably done it like once. Or twice, or three times. That was it. Okay, four. But that was that was it. Okay, you know what I mean? Radio's a trip, But, man. you know, I, no, because I've seen shit. Our business, that business, I shouldn't say ours anymore. That business is so weird with the people that we surround ourselves with. You yeah. know, I've been to like all the parties and shit like that. And the, it's the things that people do, and, you know, the girls in and out of the studio. Like, what is she doing here? Mm -hmm. You know, you mentioned the girl that tried to take your job. Like, yeah. was she talented at the very least? She was decent. She was so decent. that's a no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> she wasn't talented, right? <laughs> she wasn't. Yeah. So, you know, but that's what I'm Not saying. Not for our standards, and, and as it, I say, you know. But, you know it made me it. sick because it's like, I feel like we had to work like so hard. Just to even get a, a spot on the yeah, sh on the radio exactly. for free yeah, for, for that yeah. fucking matter. Yeah, we worked hard. And if yeah. all I knew, if I knew all I had to do was spread my fucking legs <laughs> to anybody and anybody at Prophecy Media Group, <laughs> I would have did so <laughs> a long time ago and not not build my my you know credentials and my and you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's crazy. I know what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. listen. You know what I love? You guys do uh, freestyles yeah. on, on your radio show. Okay, yeah. and I'm sure some people are really really great. Yeah, we had some great ones. We had some ones that's not. You know. We had we, real quick story, man. We had this one. I ain't gonna say his name. I won't put him on blast. But we had this one guy. This one guy. <laughs> he said, "Trouble say do it." Wait, should we put he trouble? Said, tell should we, is it too early? Nah, bring him in. It's my bro. You guys, we, we have a special guest, special guest in the building. building, man. He was on the uh, prior episode. My boy, Jay, Public trouble in the building. He's back there causing trouble. Get your ass in yeah, here. Get in here, man. And he's not wearing the shades what anymore. Up, yes. Th th welcome back to the show. Yeah. Yes, it's so good for you to come. Yeah, man, it was a you know. surprise to me. I didn't know you were coming. Yeah, man. I yes. invited my bro up, man. You know. I love him. Uh, yeah, me and bro. Me and people don't know me. Me and bro, we probably eat lunch at least once a week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. Some, sometimes a little more than yeah, that. Sometime yeah, sometimes more than that. Well, last time um, Jay Trouble was here, he was in, in incognito. Like, he was mm. shades and the grills, and I couldn't, uh, uh, and the hair was everything for me, yeah. <laughs> Remember when they, when they thought I was trying to turn you into a homophobe? I told him about that. I told him yeah, about, told that. about that story. Yeah. My fans were, were going crazy. And were going I, I, I don't know them people. I, okay. I like, hey, man. <laughs> they yeah. were going in on me. I, I was being I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I hope you're not mad with me. Nah, not no, 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 man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, man. This, this, I'm, I know this is bro's interview. I don't want to sure. do a whole lot, but bro is a legend, a living legend. Absolutely, precise. And, yes. and he doesn't toot his own horn. Yes, I guess it's who he Very is. Very humble. And and enough people don't give him enough credit. Dude is a living legend. Yes. Uh, without him, uh, I would be afraid. I wouldn't say that I wouldn't be where I'm at, you know, but yeah. I would be afraid to see what my career would be like without his help. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, that's been, so there's, awesome. There's, there's been so much behind the scenes yes. that he refuses to take credit for, but I give him his credit for I appreciate it. That. There's, yes. there's a Precise. lot that he did. Uh, absolutely. I, 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 I just felt so honored that you agreed to come on here. He called me earlier, this bitch. He called me talking about what are we going to talk about? Can you give me the questions? I What are you talking about? I'm nervous to have you on my show. Okay. <laughs> How are you nervous to come on The Public Affair? No. Anyway, let's get back to the shit rappers. Okay. So so you guys, yes. Okay. Wait. No, you, you, who? Okay. Okay. So I don't the, want nobody I, I, jumping we, we, we don't got to say yes. no names, but he's on He's on his way to get a, getting a platinum plaque. Yeah, this a guy. Pla a platinum yeah. plaque right now. Right now. He already right. got a gold plaque. What's a platinum plaque? A million records sold. Oh really? A platinum plaque. He's on that the wall. big? Like that. 
Okay. No, so, I don't so, know. So, okay, so, yeah. So he had an old song. He was big back then. Sure. Now his song got sampled and it's popping back up again. So he got credit. You getting credit? Okay, okay. Getting great credit and, and, and God bless him because I'm and proud money. of him and, and a check mm-hmm. and a check. I'm so proud are you saying that he came up to the? We well, came to the radio station. Real quick story. <laughs> real quick thing. <laughs> yes, please. Like we're talking right now. You know, before we do anything, we always prep. We like, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. Yes. Well, we were like, hey, bro, we're gonna go back on the air. We're gonna be live. <laughs> You cannot cuss, bro. Oh, yeah. That's a big we're, no-no. We're live, live on yeah. the radio. You cannot cuss, big bro. Big no-no on radio. I mean, we just told him. Yes. Like, bro, we're about to be live. We're going to let you freestyle. We know I don't do this. Because sure. Trouble, me and Trouble, we, we do a lot of time. We, we used to it. So yeah. we know not to cuss on the radio. We're like, bro, do not cuss. As soon as he got on the mic, I let Trouble tell you how he started off. Man, it, it wasn't even 10 seconds in, and it was some major cuss words. Not no yeah, it wasn't no little yeah. shit or Bunch something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 live on the radio? Yeah. Live. Oh, live. Did your boss live. have a heart attack? They uh, weren't listening, thank God. Yeah, oh, that was late God. night. Oh, yeah, late, yeah, it was like we did the night well, show. So. They don't understand. That's like a big FCC. What? That's money. Oh, Man. my God. Yeah, somebody would have been recording that. We'd be in trouble. signed rapper. Like, this, this is, yeah. this is a signed well, rapper. Well known guy. It wasn't no local. Yeah, it wasn't no local. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. No, 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 no. He, yeah. If he sees this, he knows. He knows. <laughs> yeah, he knows. Okay. Name. Yeah. As long he knows. as he's not going to break my legs and jump me, please. No. I already got in enough trouble when J Trouble's on the show. Nah. That's a true story, though, man. It's crazy. Batman talk about it all the time, bro. He always brings that up, too. Okay, I'm going to ask you guys who it is after the show. How about that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, and, gotcha. We'll, and we'll leave it to the amount and I'll tell everybody afterwards. So, um, <laughs> no, and so, okay, so then you're on the radio, right? And yeah. I know I know that the minute I got on the radio, everybody was my best friend. Everybody was my best friend, especially when I had tickets to the fair, oh, man, uh, yeah. Six Flags tickets. Yeah. You know what I thought was funny too? Everybody would send me their fucking mixtapes. Mm. I don't know why. Like, I was on a AC Top 40 radio station. Yeah, yeah we you were can't, not. Yeah, playing. Sir, sir, you can't play. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not playing. People don't understand that. Fucking yeah. mixtape. Yeah. yeah, and so, so did you, do you get a lot? Did you get a lot of those? How is that working for you? Yeah, did yeah, you, did yeah, you ever definitely. listen to any of them? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I try to get everybody to listen. I can, you know. Yeah. It's all about how serious you are about your career, you know. Everybody thought we were their next step to their music career. Yeah. Don't yeah. you think? Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, no for doubt. sure. So, okay, wait, no. So, they sent in the mixtapes. Mm-hmm. Okay, did you... So, you did actually spend time... Yeah, we had, well, okay. you know, we had a show called Street Beast where I told you I came on okay. the radio doing, so it was all love for Underground, sure, you know, so, sure, sure. of course, I wanted to make sure we got people on so yeah yeah i love you know i love putting somebody on that believe in themselves they're serious and want to hear themselves on the radio did you tell i love doing that i never had nobody do that for me sure did you ever tell somebody that they were trash and they got mad at you i have had they ain't gonna say trash but i have told people you need to work on it you know what i'm saying get it back to me because i had people submit music that they don't own the beat to sure and i have to say man i can't play it on the radio it's got tags all running through it you know it's a youtube beat with people's tags on there you can't do that i had fucking um holly tucker sing on this show and they copyrighted that bitch so fast what (laughs) right on the show wow (laughs) they they copyrighted that as soon as i uploaded that nope damn (laughs) or or the worst they'll send track Track one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. How many track it, ones he has? Okay. What? Oh, you know, email, email record and say check one. one yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what the hell it is. Yes. Why you know, you then they mad at me because I didn't play it. Yeah, no. Well, there, there's, okay, listen. It's like I have you guys on the show now, right? Like, okay, like when I had Jay Trouble on the show mm-hmm. and then all the rappers on the show, all the rappers are in my DMs, right? Yeah. And they're all, to this day, they're sending me their songs. I'm well, not that good. Yeah, and and this there's this one rapper who who loves telling everybody he signed, he's this that and the other, and I'm just like you, I don't know who signed you, mm. <laughs> and who's asking you for a feature? No, mm. I'm not being mean. I mean, I, and that's why when hey. I went on prescriptions, reviews, and previews, I, I hope I wasn't being a little bit too tough because I was like, well, like, you gotta be you, man. You know, you know my you saying. Have, my saying is be you like Baylor. Be you. Know, you. you, you know what? When you, when I was on the radio and I was doing my air checks, mm-hmm. like you know, so I can mm-hmm. get my free spot, they they would tell me that I sucked. But you, mm-hmm. I, I want it. You have to. Don't you, you gotta, be able, that's to, you gotta be able to accept constructive yes. criticism, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You got to, bro. Right, right. <laughs> I paused. I'm sorry. Yeah, see, I you thought, I, I, no, I'm I, sorry. thought <laughs> I was a singer at first before I became a rapper. I, okay, okay. You know, I heard myself. I said, oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. So you're a rapper. <laughs> so you're not a singer. <laughs> nah. No. Put the auto tune on. Are you serenading yeah. the ladies? Nah, nah. How you been since the show? I've been great. I've been living. Yeah, yeah, I've been living. Still with precise and yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, uh, the kids. I know uh, you were in some Tubi movies and movies. Yes, um, you know, I'm doing a lot of management stuff. Shout out Money Made Narrow, TSF yeah, Money, Money Made, Made Narrow, Narrow, man, nephew shout working. Out, shout out Waco Tron. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, I met Waco Tron. I seen. Do you know that I met I him <laughs> in the fucking mall, <laughs> and I like I lost how long my. You've been waiting, waiting. Oh my god, I lost my shit. I was like, I don't know if you know who I am, <laughs> and he was like, Nah, man, I know who you is, and I was like, Oh my god, you know, like for somebody <laughs> like Waco, nephew horror, man. Is that your nephew? Hard. Not, you know, a lot of people, I, I call him my nephew. Oh, those, they, you guys are all family. Oh, yeah,
<laughs> hey, I, don't, I, no, I didn't say that. I said, I don't know, man. You know I mean? You you might be with me. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You got eight years of radio on your belt. You know what I'm saying? You, you're a legend yourself. I am in you no might be You know what I'm saying? You got, no. you got eight Not years of radio on DJ your belt. DJ Precise you know saying, you sitting know? next to me. Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, uh, man, this, 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 this the public affairs. Yeah, look what <laughs> Hey, we on the we on the, we on the 20. We, yeah, hey, hey, yeah, check it out, y'all. We on the 21st floor of the, of the, of the Alico. Alico. I ain't never been in Alico. So, hey, you doing something right. You know what I'm saying? We here at the Alico. I ain't never been up here. I ain't going to lie. I am not going to sit here. Yeah, and let anybody they check my ID at the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and let anybody call me a legend next to DJ Precise hey, love, when he's man. sitting right there. It's like, love, you bro. It's all love. Definitely have, I, I can't wait to be a veteran like you. Okay, hey, so let's just do hey, that. You already but thank know, you for man. the kind words. I drew, and, and, you know, but shout out to Rogue Media Network. They, yeah, uh, big shout out to Rogue Media, show. Mike, and everybody okay. and the crew. Then everybody hits you up. So, how many best friends did you have when you were you on the radio? Man, I had a lot, man. You know, because I used to be, you know, we had a, we had a whole movement going at the time before I got on radio called the Bread Camp. Yeah, and uh, it was like a whole collection of different artists from different labels coming under one tree. The umbrella sure, sure. was where the tree was the Bread Camp. We all just came in and we all were own bosses. Everybody was doing their own thing. Sure. So, well, so of when course, I say man. best friends, because everybody, I, everybody became my best friend when I got on the radio because they all wanted that that free yeah. shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Did you have to? But once they it? found out, a lot of people found out I can do. Everything. I mean, I can't do. It. I don't. I never owned the station, so I couldn't sure, do sure. certain things. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Certain things I could do. Certain things I couldn't. Right, right. Some people understood. Some people didn't. Right. You know, but that's just part of life. You know, some people sure. don't understand the business side of this thing. You know, you. and radio and music is ninety percent business and ten percent music. I, mean, I got like, you. I, you I know. know I asked you this before, and you know, J Trouble. It's fair to say that you're pretty much involved too, right, with the radio and all that, or not for the most. You just do work with him in terms of music, and yeah, I mean. However, it's interpreted. We can, yeah. We can run well, with well, that well one. okay, because we're we're roughly the same age, right? Right. I, I mean, I'm thirty. I'll be thirty three in a few months. I'm only twenty one. Yeah, there you go. You're hot twenty one. So <laughs> no, I asked you. We referenced Zach from Waco One Hundred, right? And then we referenced a lot of like radio DJs who no longer are radio DJs. Um, do you think that there's an expiration date on us? On you, mm. on me. I mean, I think everybody. I mean, you know. Yeah. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan don't play no more. He was the best at it. He don't play no more. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's it's, it's everybody. Nah, you but, know. But his legacy lives on. Yeah, legacy gonna sure. live on. The, the, we, you the, know, the energy never dies. Never yeah, dies. Yeah. Never dies. Man. I don't think I left a legacy in radio. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I left the legacy in radio at all. Like, stepping stone. Though. I was just getting started. started. I was getting started, and then it was like. Ah. <laughs> it's kind of like what we talked about. Yeah. Earlier, I want I want to go back to that real quick about the money side sure. of it because at the end of the day. We all know that radio don't pay a lot of money, but right. like I tell people, man, I'm able to wake up every day, bro, and do what I love. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I'm, I'm thankful for that. Definitely yeah, not yeah. rich. Bills paid. I'm good. Yeah. I'm able to do what I do. And of course, I got my own company on the side that I do mm -hmm. work. Shout out to my boy Cadillac Jones, first and foremost. Big man, uh, Big Cat, man, Big Cat. He, he wasn't able to make it today, but Big Cat, man, that's my brother from another mother. Yeah, like, yeah. That's my brother. That's my bro, man. I want to like, meet him too. Then. The one person yeah. that the one person that has never, ever, 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 ever switched up, never, ever, ever, you know, had an ill thing to do or say about me. You know, always had my back from the days yeah. when I was rapping in a group called South Mob. He was my, he was right there with me back then. You know, real quick story, real quick. The way I met Cat back in the day, we used to work at this mobile home plant yeah. together, right? Okay. And my Shout my little, my little brother was killed in Hillsboro. Oh my god. And. Cat just happened to be riding by in the car when they was putting my brother in the car to take him to the hospital. Sure. At this time, he didn't know my brother or me. Sure. And we were at our job one day just talking, and then he told me that story. He's like, I was telling him about my brother being killed at a house party. And he was like, what? I, I, I rode by there and seen. And it was like God let me know when, when my brother was taken off this earth, mm. he delivered me Cat. Oh, God. Oh. You're you know gonna make me saying? cry. Stop. Nah, it's real. Oh you know, wow. And he been by my side ever since, bro. Oof. And you know that, that's God, bro. Yeah. Like you tell me that oh, ain't God. Shit, I mean, man. he just so happened to see my brother that was dying. Yes, yes. Being put in the I car and didn't even body. know me. Didn't know me from yeah. Man in the Moon. And ever since then, we had that conversation, bro. We've been like this. You gotcha, know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like that's my real brother. That's my brother, man. Oof. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't, let, let me not get choked up on here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got a lot of them kind of stories, man. You know, my life is deep. Have you big cat as the glue behind? Bread camp, you know, bro's more yeah, the sure. face. He's more, he's the more on the scene and okay. in the clubs, DJ and stuff like that. He's more the face of it. Oh, I see. Big cat. I think Big we cat. could all agree. That we'll have to get connected with him. Definitely, him. definitely. Tell him I want to go out for mimosas. Yeah. Definitely. Yes. Okay. Now, um, okay. So you know, now you're doing your thing with Mary Jane, right? On the on the station. How's that all going? 
Man, it, it was going. It was oh. going good. You know what I'm saying? You know, she had some situations behind the scenes that happened. So she just doing her own thing now. She, oh, so you, know, you guys aren't even. No, nah, she's not the regular. Oh, no okay, more. gotcha. She come in, she pop in, show love, and do a little stuff. You, but she don't. Sure. MJ busy too, man. She got a lot going on. Gotcha. That's what I says, man. Shout out to MJ, man. She busy. Her, her, her radio career, to me, every time she It's, it's been a roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, Mary Jane, we, we're done with the radio. Yeah. We're, 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 we're done. Like, you know what I mean? That's it. You know, do your thing. No, yeah. Shout out to her. Man, yeah. she busy. Okay. She busy. Like I say, man, she, she got so much going on. Radio ain't doing nothing for her for sure. that, that that she can't do for herself you know exactly. what i'm saying okay. like so I, I salute her with that keep yeah. grinding doing your but thing you, so you're doing your own thing now yeah i got my own like nobody yeah. on my show right now just me and i just you know share it with the public you know what i'm saying i'm gonna i'm coming on i'm gonna definitely get you yeah. on the show you i'll be on your show i'm gonna I'm, get you on my I'm show free on friday and so yeah, just can't <laughs> cut you remember you can't cuss now i, I know the rules okay yeah i'm, I'm just saying i just got to remind you yeah i know the rules you might get on and get comfortable like you behind this mic right now and just go to have you been on the air drunk i have yes i have I ain't gonna. Yeah, I, ain't, we, I, I please put uh, on yeah, that one too. Can't say, y'all can't say. <coughs> of course I, not. We have. <laughs> of course yeah, not. Of course not. You know, I did. I said it on the show a hundred times. I done that junk. That. Ugh. Dunkin' Donuts commercial like once, and I well, I'm not a, I'm not a big I'm not a big <laughs> smoker, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So I used to I used to you know they used to call me Big Chief back when I was younger, but I quit smoking when I started driving trucks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know every little moon I still you know indulge, you know what I'm saying with, the, with oh, my, you, my yeah. bros, and then that's something I can't do though and do radio. No, yeah, you can't. No. I messed around one time and did that. In trouble to tell you, man. I, <laughs> Man, I just don't stop talking, bro. When I do that, uh, I'm not stop That's talking. That's good. Yeah. He must be high now. He hasn't stopped talking since the interview started. I might be. <laughs> I might be. I've been out there with Jay Trouble too long. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. Okay. I wrote a proof of Trouble. I was playing. Hey, do you... Did you ever, um, you know, a, a lot of, um, a big topic when people come on the show, especially like entrepreneurs and people on their come up doing whatever that they do, don't feel like they were ever supported by their peers. Do you feel that way? Nah, not really. I mean, you know, I, I got a lot of support, man. A mm -hmm. lot of support. And I, I think, I thank God for that, man, because. I just try to put out good energy, bro, and get sure. it back. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't support you the way you feel like they should sometimes, sure. but I just, I just always remember, man. Like you got to think, like, yeah, nobody. I, I personally try not to focus on. Yeah, that. yeah, you can't. Yeah, you, I try. Not I, to focus I, I focus on love more than hate. Sure. Let's just say that. Yeah, I feel I, like it was, it was a point in my life where I used to focus more on the hate, like yeah. try to please old people. Like, sure. man, what can I? What did I do wrong? Nah, nah, not no more. Like. Trouble. I learned I learned a long time ago, yeah. man. You know, you got to just focus on the love, man. I 100% agree. Trouble. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think, in your opinion, um, keeps somebody like Precise, like humble, remain notable in his business? Um, you know, humble amongst the crowd. He doesn't get caught up in no mess. He's never in no drama. What do you like, as, as somebody you know close to my age? What do you think? You got to shout out, Mama Precise. You know, what okay. I, mean? yeah. I, I think it's his upbringing. That's, okay. just, that's just who he is. Part, half of it is is, is just who yeah. he is, mm -hmm. and the other half is his upbringing, and that, that's just who his mama is. That's just how he, you know. What I mean, I've never seen any other side of precise. If anything, as one of as one of, one of his brothers and one of his closest friends, I get mad at him. Like, bro, stop being so nice. Yeah, yeah, fuckers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that'd be the, our conversation half sure. the time. Yeah, you know what I mean, but. That's just like you can't fault a guy for having such a great heart. Like, yeah, you just don't find that very much in, in these days or in this industry. And uh, yeah, I would have to attribute that. Once I met his mom, she's such a, she's one of the sweetest women that you'll really? ever meet. First time meeting me, she yeah. she treated me like like she raised me or something uh -huh. like that. Hey, that's how mom is, man. Yeah, and, you know? that's, and that's how yeah. she did with everybody. You know yeah, sure, like, sure. He was raised off love. You know what I mean? You, now you mentioned a lot that uh, well, you mentioned earlier that he attributed a lot to your career, mm -hmm. and you you don't know how your career would have turned out without him mm -hmm. can you elaborate on that uh so like i for i could just give you a quick example sure uh, i i remember i was going through a lot of the, at that time and i just wanted to go to this dry uh, for no reason for i wasn't pushing no album pushing no yeah. single. i just wanted to go to his open mic night one night i just wanted to go rap there i had no reason to be there i had no reason to be rapping or anything i was just going through a lot and yeah I to go get something off my chest okay so i show up to, to his open mic night and there ain't nobody there but me, Precise, our old security, and, and the club owner. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and so we end up hanging out and drinking and stuff like that. He said, man, Trouble, why don't you pull up on me at the radio station tomorrow? And and, I, and we're drinking already, so I'm like, sure. don't be bullshitting because I'll come tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're like, no, nah, for real. Pull up on me. I'm going to show you how to run, start r running the boards and all this. Other, like, just, oh, like, yeah. That, so that's how radio started for me. Okay, got you, got you. You know what I mean? So just, he took you under his wing. You're, you're his Chrissy. 
Chris, Chrissy from Power One Away, like she oh, did that okay. for me. Yeah, okay, no, you don't. Okay, yeah. Curveball. Yeah, no, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, it's Chrissy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that was just. So he I mean, just okay. There's been hundreds of other. other uh, yeah, yeah. So many road trips. I we don't even want to go down those <laughs> bread, <laughs> bread camp van. The bread camp road van stories oh, were shit. man. We had a camera that's, that thing. That's another episode. Yeah, yeah. Different, <laughs> different. Well, God, you know what? Yeah. Precise. I, I, it goes without saying, and you know, part of the reason why I'm so happy that you dropped in on us is because you know I wanted his perception for everybody else to hear. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. You know? He won't toot his own horn, bro. Yeah, he won't, yeah, but, but Jay Trouble will, okay? <laughs> he gets us love. in trouble. Now, before yeah. we go, of course, we want to plug in uh, the Texas Happen. You have your own yeah. podcast now. Yeah, You're venturing into podcasts. Mm-hmm. So how did that get started? Wh- you know, what are you doing on there? What's the goal for man, that? Man, once, yeah. once again, man, salute to my big bro, Cat, man. Cat, big Cat, man, really pushed me a lot to get my own thing going, you know, because I'm, I'm just loyal to what I've been sure, doing, you know what I'm yeah. saying? He's like, man, you got to get your own thing going, you know? So, you know, we got together and we came up with the Texas Tap In and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a really dope channel. We we did, we're doing pretty good on subscriptions already, but y'all can subscribe. Yes, go subscribe. Right now, Texas <laughs> Tap In, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we just want to bring something different to the table, not just hip hop. You know, we actually sure. got, a, we got a, a cooking show on there called Texas Tasting, where we go to your location and you know, promote your business, with oh, food. You know go to Armstrong's Bayou Cafe. Okay. Go there with Anika Armstrong. Bet. Okay. You'll like going I, there. Yeah. As we get out there, let me yeah. know. Yeah, Union Hall? Huh? Is it a Union Hall? They, they do it. Yep. Union Hall and Union Grove. Okay. Bet. Yes, yes. We do it. Say less. Bayou I Cafe. got you. And then after that, go to J Pedal and Poke. Okay. Yeah, yes, you'll like and that. And that's what I'm doing. We're trying to hit all the gyms yeah. right here in our city first, and then yeah. we're going to branch out. Go so. to Armstrong's. It's so good. Okay, so we can check check, check you out. Texas Tappin. Yeah. YouTube.com slash Texas Tappin. Is yep. that what we're doing with yep. DJ Precise? Mm-hmm. Yes. Again, having you on the show has been such a pleasure. What's next in your career? I mean, do you think that you're going to eventually leave radio and then kind of venture into podcasting? Or are you just going to ride the wave for as long as you Man, can? Man, I'm just going to keep riding the wave. God yeah. got me on. You know what I'm saying? The vision is, is bright. I mean, I feel good. I, I really feel the, the Texas Tap In is going to be my baby. More taking off with that. And, you know, as radio continues, I'll continue long as it, long as the radio will have me, you know? Jay, what do you think is next for DJ Precise? Hey man, <clears throat> whatever he decides, he already knows I'm rocking with him. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I I would like to see him branch out because I think that bro bro is bigger than what he thinks he is, mm-hmm. what he what he knows that he is. Sure. Um. So I think that there's there's great things for him, um, on the other side of of radio oh, yeah. and, and outside of Waco. I think I yeah. think, I think yeah. he has has the potential and this, the uh, everything that it, that it takes to expand expand this thing way bigger than than what. Uh, than what Waco has to offer. Yeah, that's why we're on that runway. You're taking off, man. Gosh. Listen, uh, well, as long as one of you guys put me in a rap music video, please. I've been begging (laughs) for that shit for four years and nobody's doing it, okay? And then I thought when I met Waco Chan, he thought I'd be cool and then invite me and he did not. <laughs> well, listen. Thank you. Guys. I appreciate you, man. Yes, for no, thank for you real. so much for coming on. Jay, it was so good to see you again. Yeah, I appreciate you. I'm gonna get you on the show, man. You gotta come hang out. I'm gonna come out. All you have to do is let me know when and where, and I'm there. That's your But Jay has to be there too. Oh man. Yeah, you better you better pull up, and we can all freestyle <laughs> together. We'll yeah. freestyle. Hey, yeah. Freestyle, what, yeah. What I want to know is where are the drinks at. Why? 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 why I didn't did I get, get no why, drinks. Why did I have to be inebriated for the? Uh, well, I did. First of all, I did not know you were coming. So let's start there, and then I didn't think precise drink. What? Do you drink? <laughs> no. Oh, but you, okay, because you know what I'm trying to. No, no, no. Honestly, I'm trying to go for uh, more substance and less extra, mm. oh. because I get too drunk and I start telling you guys how I want to sleep with you, and so that that can't be the show. Well, you thank know you. what I mean? Yes. Yeah. So, we appreciate so, it. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody that tuned into this episode, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. DJ Precise, the legend, the man, the myth, the legend, and of course Jay Trouble Stay is here. Tuned. He came and surprised us as well. Thank you guys both for coming back onto the Public Affair. For you coming onto the Public Affair, appreciate I truly it, appreciate it. Sure. Um, you guys, we got more of the show on the way. So please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now, before we go, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to us by Jay Pedal and Poke with Junior Fuentes, Thomas Roberts, and their entire family. I told you to go there for your Texas taste. I'm night. going. Yes, I'm go. Going. They provide delicious, savory Japanese crepes and poke bowls, and they also have handcrafted Thai rolled ice cream for dessert. You can choose from a menu item or just do what I like to do. I like to be in control, so I just make my own custom poke bowl. All right. Locations at University Parks Drive and on Hewitt Drive. You can order online at jpedaltx.com to Junior Fuentes, Thomas Roberts, and their entire family. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the Brothers Roofing and Remodeling, my boy Jesus Sanchez from Mart, Texas, a small construction business from Mart, specializing in general roofing needs and so much more. Listen, 
Protect your home from the crazy elements of this Texas weather with his high quality and affordable work. Follow on Facebook and call the number on the screen. He'll do all the remodeling for you. Super, oh. super reliable. Him and his team are absolutely amazing. Jesus Sanchez, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, my boy, Sid Rodriguez. Yes, he's got me all crispy fade today. He would uh, leave barbershop. He would drive. You can call the number on the screen and book or download the Squire app. Walk-ins are welcome as well. He has Marcus Guerrero, Chris Reyes, Santos Cordova, David Rodriguez, Isaac Chavez, Clint Fletcher, Isai Reyes, and Sam Ceballos over there making you like snacks I have for more than a hundred and something episodes of The Public Affair. All right, uh, Lee Barbershop. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, Ana Limones for Hummingbird Party, Backdrops, and Decor. Listen, call for all party decor, including beautiful balloon props, giving an extra flight to your party or event with a number of wooden backdrops as well. And she may or may not be coming on The Public Affair very, very soon. I'm super excited. Listen, call them on the screen. Hummingbird Party, Backdrops, and Decor is absolutely unrivaled to Ana Limones. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, I'm not going to go on without thanking Jeffrey Monreal with Boyo Box and Audio Home for audio LED needs and audio accessories, installation of stereos, door speakers, and audio systems. He also specializes in building custom subwoofer enclosures and so much more. Definitely a jack of all trades. He put the, the star lights in my car. He put that super dark tint in my car. I'm not going to tell you what I'd be doing in Bell Mead late at night. Okay, you're one stop shop to get everything done in one roof to Jeffrey Monreal. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. To all of you guys, I love you. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Jay Trouble, DJ Precise. DJ Precise, it was an honor. It was such an honor. Appreciate it. So I'm so honored. Ripping those, those I'm about to say, <laughs> man, I'm like, nine, five, 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 I tried. Yeah, you, uh, are you quick tried, with it, man? Tried, tried. Can I do one last shout out, man? Oh, yeah, shout out whoever you want. Yeah. First and foremost, man, you know what I say on the radio, man. I got to say this to my people right now watching too, man. I always thank God before you think Facebook. You know what I'm saying? You wake up, man. Put your mind on some positivity. I promise you that be better. Shout out to all my DJs, my crew. You know what I'm saying? DJ D, DJ Swiss, uh, Ariel Chantel, Rasta Rad. Shout out to my boy JR. You know what I'm saying? My Bread Camp Coalition DJ family. All of y'all appreciate y'all, man. For real, y'all keep up the good work. I love to see my people win, and we gonna keep winning. That's it, Jay. What about you? Oh man, <laughs> I, I was just popping up to watch the show, man. So, I appreciate, man, appreciate y'all for having me. Appreciate yeah. all, all, all the supporters out there. I, and, uh, I, I, I think I, I think I deserve a part two, man. Uh, yeah, we're <laughs> gonna. We, I was gonna give you a year. Damn, it's only been what six months. I don't know, man. Right? It hasn't I, been I, that I, long. I, mean, I got so much going on, man. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 need, I, need, I need at least man. 36 months. We're going to have you back on. I, you know, I want to have you back on. There's a lot for us to talk about. Uh, but don't forget, when Jay Trouble comes back on, that's yeah, right. Yeah, don't forget to always keep it between us. <laughs> <laughs>